Hey there, folks. How's it going? What are we doing today? Today, we're going to talk about Destiny 2 and leveling. That's right. We're going to talk about the most efficient and best way that you can level from 750 all the way to max in Destiny 2. Are you a new player and you're just getting into Destiny now and trying to figure out what is going on? What are these power levels, light levels? What's the lowest? What's the highest? How can you get there? What's the most efficient way? What you should do? What you should not do? Or what are all those things? Or are you one of the players that's coming back? to destiny now after not playing for a long time and realizing that 750 is the lowest level and everybody starts at that do you want to know what the max is what the soft cap is what the hard cap is, what is the most the best way to get there well in this video we're going to talk about all of that we're going to outline my experience as i level from 750 all the way to 1010 and we're going to discuss all of the gear all of the grinds i'm going to give you all of the tips and that's getting started right now Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Captain Nemo. Welcome to another Destiny video. So today, we're going to talk about how you can level the fastest way. We're going to break down what leveling is, what it's all about, and give you a no-nonsense type of guide. Something that's not going to give you a headache where you don't have to sit there and count numbers and go crazy and you have to get this and you have to get that and all this stuff. Don't have to worry about it. We're going to cover it all today. Before we get started, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, come on down to our Twitter and our Discord. Got a lot of exciting stuff going on there. You definitely don't want to miss out. So, Destiny 2. Here we are. You just got the game. You're at level 750. What do you do? Or, hey, maybe you're coming back to the game just now because you haven't played in a while like myself, and you got the 750, and you say, ooh, that's the lowest level. How, how do I get myself up? What's going on? Well, in Destiny 2, if you're a new player, to give you a quick little overview, in Destiny 2, there is a light level. A light level basically is your overall power level. Each piece of gear and armor that you're wearing on you, every gun, every side piece, everything that you're wearing, your helmet, blah, 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 all that has a gear score. A combined gear score of all of that gives you an overall gear score. And what you want to do here is you want to basically try to get to the highest possible gear score possible because you're going to be able to give the most damage, have the coolest gear, and then and so forth. So every Every piece of gear that you get has a color on it. It's going to be a, a regular, a blue. Mostly, what you're going to be dealing with is a blue, and then a purple. A blue is uh, is your regular gear, something that you. It's rare gear. It's something that you're gonna kind of put on and and grind through. And then your purples are your your powerful gear, your legendary gear. And then you have also yellow, which is exotic. That's a whole different story. But what you need to do, you need to get from 750 to 950. 950 to 960 is like the max you can get with your blue gear. Blue gear is what kind of gets you through the game. So your first step in trying to power up and get to the highest level is, of course, to try to get to 950. So how do you get to 950? Well, honestly, this is the best way. It, you're here to enjoy Destiny. You get to do whatever you want. I mean, some people say there are effective ways of doing this but honestly my best uh, my best opinion for you is do what you enjoy the most what can you do you can do a lot of different stuff you can do you can do the story you can do adventures you can do patrols you could do your public events you could do some strikes there are so many things that you can do to just play the game basically and that that whole thing as you're doing that you're going to acquire gear once you acquire the gear the highest level of gear and that's my advice to you one of the pro tips here Whatever is your highest number of anything that you have, you need to be wearing that. You need to put that on. Even if it's a gun that you don't normally particularly like. If it's a higher gear, you want to put that on because that will give you an overall higher gear. Because what's happening is the gear that you're picking up is going to be around the same level of your overall gear score. So let's say if you're going to be hanging out and you have a 760 or a 770 gear score, your gear that is going to be dropping for you, I don't want to give you too much of a headache, but basically it's going to be right around that level. And if you keep acquiring gear around that level, it's going to slowly bring you up to a higher level. That's kind of how it works. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you wear the highest possible things. So gear and your guns, you want to put those on, highest possible number that you get to. Everything else that is blue, you definitely 
definitely want to just break down break down for material and keep the material one important thing is you can turn the material the gun parts in at um at the gunsmith and there are different vendors you could do a bunch of stuff like if you're playing strikes you can turn those tokens in and all of that for you know, to upgrade the vendor and then eventually they'll give you a powerful engram which is something that's cool and you might think it's a good idea to do but remember it drops at your level so the best thing that you can do is actually hoard all of that do not spend any of the gun parts any of the materials any of the tokens keep them all until you get to like 960 at 960 is when you can go and start turning those things in and basically picking up the gear at your level trust me you don't really care from 750 to 950 you're just gonna be playing the game enjoying and getting to know it doing your stuff you don't really care what gun you have you don't care what gear you have just throw in the highest stuff that you have and run through the game until you get to 950 that 960 mark that's where you're gonna talk about well okay so now i'm gonna try to get to that 1000 1000 right now currently is the soft cap that is the highest possible way that you can get with powerful gear that's purple gear that you can get and we'll talk about that in just a little bit so i just want to make sure that we cover from 750 to 950 you could do whatever you like Honestly, it's up to you what you want to do. Remember, enjoy the game. That's the most important part. So do the things that you like. Grind it. Play the story mode. You know, do some adventures. I like to do strikes. Strikes are cool. So, you know, those are, you know, pick a strike that you like and start running it with your friends. Do whatever you want. Try to save... Try to save all of the tokens and all of the extra stuff that you get from breaking down the gear. Make sure you wear the highest gear that you have, no matter what it is, even if it's a gun that you don't like. And grind through and get to... 950 950 or 960 is like that that's your range after that your blue gear cannot get you any further so anything irregular that you do any kind of activities that you do within the game if you start doing story or whatever else past that point it's not going to drop a higher level for you so you're going to be at the same level any with a blue gear is not going to get you past like 960 that's the max so once you get there you only have one choice and your choice is to farm and try to get powerful gear now there's going to be powerful drops and that's the idea here once you get to that 960 mark your key here now is to grind to the 1000 power level 1000 power level is where the soft cap is how do you get there you get there by doing powerful things powerful engrams powerful purple gear is what gives you those higher levels so you say okay how, how do we do that well once you get to 950 or 960 you'll see that when you open up the map you're going to see these little gold coins they're going to be kind of glowing around each place that has a powerful drop and what can you do well they actually change they weekly reset too like for example you could do three strikes if you do three strikes a week you get a powerful a guaranteed powerful drop so that's a good thing to do right or for example if you do gambit if you do like i think it's three gambits or something like that you get a powerful drop or if you do bounties right each like vendor like a zavala and you know shacks and all of them they have bounties that you can pick up and that's another pro tip too what you can do is you can go over there and grab a whole bunch of bounties pick them all up and then go in and do some strikes you know the bounties could be like use a shotgun with 10 of your enemies and that gives you some stuff or you know they have different ones that like kill enemies with the grenades or whatever each vendor has a bunch of different bounties that you can pick up you have to buy them and then basically as you start killing enemies and stuff those bounties start getting filled and then they they finish well if you do eight bounties per vendor per week you can get an extra powerful drop that powerful drop is going to give you a piece of, piece of gear that's going to be higher than the 960 and then slowly acquiring all of these pieces of gear from all of these different activities that you're doing is going to slowly move you up and get you up to a higher and higher level until you get to 1000 now there's a bunch of different stuff you know there's a bunch of other things that you can do like uh, crucible there's a whole whole bunch of stuff that you could do in crucible that's a good pvp option if you're interested in that versus like doing pve like strikes and nightfall and things like that or maybe you don't feel like doing bounties or whatever and you want to get into that or you can do gambit like i said three gambits a week which is a pvpe uh, activity it's both actually if you wanted to do that that'll give you an extra powerful engram as well so there you go there there's a bunch of other stuff you can do there's some some quests to give you give you them and then just they, they sometimes randomly drop like doing a public event or taking out a heavy enemy in like a strike or something like that you'll get a powerful just drop there for no reason so hey that's a good one right so you could do all of that and that's how you get to 1000 and there are some pro tips to that honestly 
you can go crazy there are so many ways of doing it like there are some websites that you can go to right um there's specific websites that will basically uh one of them is vendor engrams uh, xyz so it's basically vendor engrams xyz if you go to the website it will show you all of the vendors and it will basically tell you which ones are dropping high which ones are dropping low you want to go to the ones that are dropping high what does that mean well it can show you like the gunsmith or devrim k or somebody but at that specific time actually is giving out a higher number uh, of engrams than the lower one and honestly like i said you can go crazy with that but it's basically pretty simple <clears throat> you look at your the, the gear that you have all of the pieces that you're wearing a collective score of all of those pieces together gives you an overall score if you have some pieces that are low and some pieces that are high by upgrading the low one to a higher number it significantly raises your overall score the idea here i mean you can like i said you can go crazy it's actually eight points if you're counting them together there's a eight point variation before it moves up to the next score um so if 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 all of your pieces were 960 and you had one piece that was a 968 you'd be like a 961 you know what i mean like it it, it moves up per eight but the idea here in general is to wear the highest possible gear that you have so every piece that you have if you have a higher piece it'll overall bring your score up and then the gear that you pick up will overall drop higher right so if you're looking at your pieces and you're saying hmm i have my shoes right my my boots they're low they're lower than anything else well i need to pick up a higher level boot in order for me to get to a higher overall score right how do i do that how do I get to that? Well, it's easy. What you can do, no, well, it's actually not easy. What you can do is you can literally, you can go to the vendor, uh, vendor engram.xyz and find out the highest one, that, the, whoever is the vendor that, that is dropping the highest. Let's say this is Zavala or something like that, right? So you can go and you can spam and try to upgrade Zavala with your tokens, right? And get them as high as you can so you can keep dropping gear. If probably at one point there's a higher chance of him dropping you boots that are at a higher level that you that you normally have now. You putting them on overall re increases your gear score, so it's just a more effective way or tr trying to upgrade. I mean, it works, it's more efficient. Honestly, the idea is try to keep to the highest possible gear that you have on you uh, if you want to get to 1,000 quicker and start dropping and start looking for that powerful stuff by doing the strikes, the nightfalls, you know, all of that type of stuff to get to that higher gear. And then eventually, once you get to like the 1,000, I mean, you, you have obviously your favorites. Like you might have a gun that you really, really like for a specific type of activity, right? For a strike or a raid or something like that. Well, yeah, you have it. But if you have a gun with a higher level and you're trying to get to the max to 1,000, you might want to use that because it's going to drop higher gear for you because it's going to overall give you higher gear. And that's the idea. Long story short, if you just got a headache from all of that, just remember this. Wear the highest possible gear you have because it's going to overall give you a higher score and make it easier for you to get to that max level. Whew. So, let's talk about the next thing. Alright, so, to uh, to give you a little over overview here, it's from 750 to 950, you're going to basically do whatever you want. You're going to do things that you like, you're going to do story mode, adventure, you're going to do... Uh, flashpoints, you can do patrols, you can do public events, you can do strikes, basically whatever you want. After that, once you get to the 950 to 960 area, you're gonna need to do a powerful gear and hunt for that. And that can be done by doing bounties, like from Zavala, Shax, Gunsmith, and so on. By doing flashpoints, doing strikes, you could do nightfalls, you could do crucible, you could do gambit, you could do like upgrade your bunker. There's a lot of different stuff that you can do. Definitely, that's what you're going to need to do. And of course, remember to wear your highest gear to gear balance as you move up and try to get to that 1,000. 1, 1,000 is the soft, that is the soft cap. After that, you're basically at the highest level until you start grinding for pinnacle gear. Pinnacle gear is what gets you from 1,000 to 1,010, and that is the highest possible level that you can get to. Pinnacle gear is specific events, like doing uh, the hard uh, nightfall, the 1,000, the 100,000 nightfall, uh, doing raids, doing things like that, doing really high level events. There's a bunch of different ones scattered all over the map. That's what you're gonna need to do at that point to try to get higher than that. And 1,010, um, is the highest level that you can get to. So 1,000 for the soft cap, 1,010 for the highest level. And that is how you get there. 
So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you liked this guide. And remember, if you have any questions, to make sure to shoot them down below. I answer every comment. Make sure to follow me on my Twitter and my Discord. I have a lot of stuff going on there as well. And I can answer any of the questions uh, that you may have. I hope that you enjoyed this game and enjoyed this universe and destiny. Make sure to come on by and say hi to me. I'm around here as well. I can give you my name um, in the in the comments below. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like it. And while you're here, check out this one. This is a really cool one. And I'll see you there.